Good morning and welcome to day seven of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm reading from Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 43. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came, and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with him, my little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet, instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned round in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you? His disciples answered, and yet you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet, and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this, they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. As I was reading this, one of the things that stood out for, for me is just how focused Jesus is on his intention. Um, it didn't matter what interruption there was as he was going towards the synagogue leader's house. It didn't matter that other people came in and surrounded him and tried to get his attention. He already had it set in his mind that he was going to heal this little girl, that this girl was going to get up and no, even the news of death would not turn him or deter him from his mission. And sometimes in our lives, we have a promise from the Lord that we're holding on to, something we know that the Lord has said he's going to do, but the circumstances around us tend to take our attention away from it. And we begin to wonder, will it really happen? Or will it really come to pass? And we sort of tend to forget that God always has his mind set already on what he's going to do. And if we just have a little faith in him, it shall come to pass. And as you go about your day today, I urge you to just think about the promises that God has made over your life. Ask yourself, which one have I let go? Because it didn't look like it would come to pass. Or as soon as I believed, situations seemed to get worse. And go back to God and say that you choose to believe him again and trust that he will bring it to pass just as he has promised. Let's take a minute and pray. Father, I thank you because you are the God of heaven and your word comes to pass. Your word does not return void. I pray, Lord, that as we go through this day by your spirit, you remind us the truth that you have spoken into our lives situations. Help us to focus on you, Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith, and not on our circumstances. Help us to choose to believe that you are the God that brings to pass everything that you say. And may we see established in our lives your promises over us from today on. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And have a lovely day.